Welcome y'all into my corner. Why do I call it my corner? Because I'm in my corner. Today I might be in this corner or tomorrow I might be in this corner, my crafting corner. So welcome to my corner. Hey guys. So I wanted to talk to you today about um, something that I saw the other day. There was a lady on the uh, Bible app and she, there was a video about a verse and she was talking about um, doing a complete change when you come to Christ and accept him as your savior. And so she said, you need to change from going, you know, the way you're going and go a different way. And she said, you need to do a 360 when really what she meant was a, doing a 180. And when you do, if you think about it, when you do a 360, you, you come in one way and you turn, and you turn all the way around and you're going back in the same direction you were. And a lot of times that's the way, what happens. People come to church and, and they, they feel something and, and they go down and they pray and, and they get up and they, and what they really, what they do is they try to uh, change life themselves. And what they wind up doing is doing a 360 instead of a 180. They go all the way back around and wind up going the same direction they were going in to begin with. And it was because they were doing it of their own, under their own wheel. And um, when really and truthfully, what they need to do is bring it to God and let him do a 180. That 360 took a lot of effort. A whole lot more effort than the 180 because the 180 is not done under our effort it's done under Christ and he is the one that does it for us we bring our we bring our junk we bring our life to him and we allow him to do the changing and then we do a 180 in him today's Bible verse is Ephesians 4 22 through 24 you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your mind and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So when you bring it to God and you allow him to do the changing, then you take on Christ's righteousness and you get rid of that old self and you do a 180. I did a several 360s in my life. And until I got ready to let God do the changing, I kept doing those 360s. So if you're tired of doing those 360s, come to Jesus and let him take you on a 180 ride. Have a great day.